Alright, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Koholo Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Wakakwadash, Double Honesty Apostles of Great Millstone, Salutation to you brothers that's pushing this word in truth and in sincerity, okay? Uh, waiting, okay, for the coming of our Lord, okay? As pursuant to the um, precepts, as pursuant to the Bible, okay? So I said all praises to the Heavenly Father and His Son, okay? Which you should know that his name is Yahweh and his son's name is Yahweh Shah. He is, okay, and he is the deliverer, okay, which Yahweh Shah is the deliverer. He's of the tribe of uh, Judah, okay, in the Hebrew you would say Yahweh Dah, which, mean, which means uh, most high's praise, okay. And um, a, co a co common uh, occurrence in the scriptures it says to wait upon the Lord, okay, because we are commanded as men of the Lord to wait upon the Lord, to wait upon our king. Okay, it's pursuant to the prophecy. So I'm gonna get into the scriptures, and that's gonna be the topic of this video today. And I'll start off with a basic mill scripture right here. This is uh Zephaniah 3 and 8. It says, uh, therefore wait ye upon me, saith the Lord, until the day that I rise up to the prey. And who is the prey? The prey is Esau, Edom, and the other nations. Okay, that's the prey, the prey. Okay, it says, For my determination is to gather the nations. That I may assemble the kingdoms to pour upon them my indignation. And what is the Lord's indignation? It's his righteous anger. So that's his determination. That's why you see everything you see going on is for, this, for the peace of Israel. For the peace of the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. In particular, the elect, which is going to be the first fruits. Okay, that's going to receive the kingdom of Yahweh Bashem Shah. Okay, and this is what the prophets... Okay, and the men that were a four time before us, this is what they wrote down. Okay, this is what they hoped for. All right, the time that uh, Israel would be restored, okay, uh, f to the Lord. So, as part of that coming to pass, the Lord has to rise up to the prey, okay, and He has to gather the nations to assemble the kingdoms to pour upon them my indignation, even all my fierce anger. For all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. Okay, so this these these things have to come to pass. Okay, let's go to the book of Lamentations 3 and 25. I'll start at 24. It says, The Lord is my portion, save my soul. Therefore will I hope in him. Okay, and this is the mentality of uh, Jeremiah, the prophet. Okay, the Lord is my portion. Okay, save my soul. Therefore will I hope in him. Okay, because our hope is upon Yahweh Bashim al Shah. Like the scriptures say, we are saved by hope. Okay. It says, The Lord is good unto them that wait for him, to the soul that seeketh him. And that's why we go into these scriptures, we do these videos, we go out to the highways and hedges, and we herald, okay, the coming of our Lord. Okay. Because the Lord is good unto them that wait for him, to the soul that seeketh him. It is good that a man should both hope and quietly wait for the salvation of the Lord. And that's a good thing for a man to hope and quietly wait for the salvation of the Lord. Because the salvation, okay, of Yahweh Bashim al Shah has been promised unto the men that love him, okay? It said it's good for a man that he bear the yoke in his youth, okay? Because uh, this yoke that you put on, that you take upon your, your, um, your neck, it's good that you bear it in your youth, meaning when you're in your prom, okay? A lot of uh, us, we came in this truth at a young age, okay? We came in 19, 20. You know, 21, okay, we, we're, some men are in their 30s now, okay, so we've given the prime of our life, okay, to wait upon Yahweh Bashim Yahweh to the, to declare, okay, his words, okay, to the um, best of our abilities, okay, to wait upon the Lord, okay, the Lord is one of the characteristics of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh in particular the Heavenly Father, he's a, that he's long-suffering, okay, he's long-suffering and he requires patience, and the word for patience, it means to suffer. Okay. Let's go to Psalm 37. I'm going to start at 4. Then I'm going to read uh, verse 34, I believe. Um, this is Psalm 37 and 4. It says, Delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desire, the desires of thine heart. And that's what we're hoping for. We're hoping for the Lord to give us the desires of our heart. All the things that we, we, we lack on this side. Okay. Um, you know, the carnal things. Pretty much, you know, the Lord is going to give us our desires in due season. You know, maybe a woman 
or maybe a, a, a money you want a business or you, you know you want certain things you kind of got to put off you can't go go full force with it in this society because we know that this society is polluted okay it shall surely destroy you this is not our rest see when you get off into those uh those desires like you know your business and you know your, your a woman or whatever those things are not sure okay they're not sure and it's a worry it's actually a weariness of the flesh okay because you're trying to cover these things and you're trying to get to a position and the position that you think that you're going to get to when you get there or, or when you get to a certain position it's not what it's cracked up to be you know but but we got to delight ourselves okay and, and and wait upon the lord so that he give us the the desires of our heart Okay, like it says in uh, verse 4, delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. And let's look up the word desires real quick. Nah. Mashallah. Looks like mashallah. Uh, and it says uh, request, petition, desire. A request, desire, petition. Okay. And that's what we're going to get, okay? Our desires, okay? You know, um, verse 5, it says, Commit thy way unto the Lord. Trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. Yeah, and the Lord is going to bring to pass the day that we've been waiting for, the day of the Lord, okay, that we can see Esau, Edom go down. Okay, the so-called white man go down, he'd be taken out of power, okay? That's another thing that we're waiting upon the Lord for, because the Lord said he's going to do this in 60 minutes, and it's going to be a magnificent thing when he takes down these Edomites, okay? 60 minutes, that's all it's going to take, um, you know, with the destruction of uh, Babylon, the greater America. Commit thy way unto the Lord, trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass, and he shall bring forth thy righteousness as the light, and thy judgment as the noonday. Rest in the Lord and wait patiently for him. Fret not thyself because of him who prospereth in his way. Because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass. Okay, and Esau Edom right now seems like he's winning. Alright, but the scripture says, Fret not thyself because of him who prospereth in his way. Because right now it seems like wickedness prospers. That the wicked is set up. Okay. But guess what? The Lord is going to uh, 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 destroy them. Okay. Let me jump down to verse 34 real quick. Uh, this is uh, Psalm 37 verse 34 It says wait on the Lord and keep his way And he shall exalt thee to inherit the land When the wicked are cut off Thou shalt see it And that's what we're waiting for Yahweh Bashim al Shah for Alright to, to be exalted to inherit the land Okay mainly the land of Israel And we're going to inherit the, all the earth Okay like Psalms uh, the second chapter uh, says Ask of me and I shall give thee the heathen for thine inheritance And the uttermost parts of the earth Okay, now let's go to uh real quick. Let's go to Sirach. Um, let's go to Sirach two and uh seven. Sirach two and seven. It says, "Uh, ye that fear the Lord, wait for His mercy, and go not aside, lest ye fall." Because the uh, the scriptures say, "Woe unto you that have lost patience." And what we do when when He shall visit? I'm just roughly paraphrasing that, but it says, "It says, wait for His mercy and go not aside." Because we know that if we go aside from this this truth, this understanding which we have learned through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim al Shah, and it has been accessed through our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, okay, who have helped bring us back into remembrance of these things, we know that it'll go. We'll, if we go aside, we're gonna fall. Okay, you got men that have been in the truth, okay, where they you know were were a part of, were a part of. Okay, the understanding. Okay, but they went aside. They thought that they could, that they could do their own thing, and you see what happened to them. Okay, that's why ye that fear the Lord, wait for His mercy, and go not aside lest ye fall. Because if you go aside from what the Lord has set up, you're gonna fall. And there's countless examples of that out here, you know. And the Lord Yahweh Bashim Al Shah always uh, gives examples. Okay, it says ye that fear the Lord, believe Him, and your reward shall not fail. Uh, ye that fear the Lord hope for good and for everlasting joy and mercy and there goes that word hope again Okay, it's good to hope upon the Lord. All right, you can never fail hoping upon the Lord. 
all right, and, and waiting for the mercy of Yahweh Bashim Yahusha, doing the right thing. Okay. This is the last scripture that I want to bring out. This is Isaiah 40 and 31. It says, But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. And we brothers always talk about spiritual power. The power that the Lord's going to uh, give from on high. Okay, to, to, to take down the wicked. Okay, as a, as a, uh, 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 basically the, the right hand power of the left hand, um, the right hand power, okay, of the Heavenly Father, okay, is up against the left hand side of the Heavenly Father. And ultimately the right hand of the Heavenly Father is going to be upheld, okay, and that's why the Lord is going to pursue, do, do this. In Isaiah 40 and 31 it says, but they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. Because right now we're weak, okay? The scriptures talk about uh, uh, one man chasing uh, uh, a thousand, okay? And men chasing uh, thousands. That's the power that we once had, okay? But right now we're weak, so we're waiting to be renewed, okay? We're waiting to uh, uh, receive immortality. And that's something that, that, that has been promised as inheritance to the sons of the nation of Israel, okay? And Lord's will, we'll, we'll be able to receive that in due season by waiting upon the Lord, Okay, it says, uh, but they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. Okay, yeah, and that's what's, and hey, that's that's power, man. Okay, Yahweh Bashim Al Shai is going to endow men from with, with power on high. Okay, just like you know, um, it was foretold. Okay. Just like those stories in, in our history. Okay, let's bring this last scripture out real quick. This is uh, uh, Sirach 36 and uh, let's start at 15. It says, um, it says, Give testimony unto those that thou hast possessed from the beginning and raise up prophets that have been in thy name. And that's what the Lord is doing. He's, he's raised up the prophets. The prophets, like the scriptures say, the spirit of the prophets is subject to the prophets. The prophets are out there doing what the prophets do. Which is prophesying the downfall of many kingdoms and nations, telling them of war, evil, and pestilence that's getting ready to come. That's here. Okay, it says, Reward them that wait for thee, and let thy prophets be found faithful. So this shall be this this thing is gonna happen. Okay, the Lord is gonna reward them that wait for him. Okay, and he's gonna let the prophets be found faithful. And what are the prophets saying? That America is going to be destroyed by thermal nuclear destruction. That the Edomites, which is the so-called white man, he's going into slavery. Okay, pursuing the uh, Revelation 13th chapter, Isaiah the 14th chapter. Okay, and, and basically we're raising hell that we may go to the gates of the nobles. Okay, which is your head, your head uh, uh, leaders in Edom. Okay, with a testimony. Okay, of their downfall. And guess what? The Lord is going to put that same spirit. Okay, upon His men when that time comes. To, to, to speak, okay, against the wicked rulers of this society, okay? And therefore, thy prophet shall be found faithful when these words of the Lord come to pass, okay? Because we knew, man, we knew, and we've been declaring it, and Jake just don't want to hear it. Or well, two-thirds of our people just don't want to hear it. But guess what? Yahweh Bashim al is going to make good on pouring his word, and he's going to do his servants according to uh, uh, the patience that they've had and waiting on the Lord. So, our job is to continue pushing his word. Okay, so with that, I just want to give all praises. Call Hello Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim Akakwadash, double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, and salutation to you brothers that's pushing his word in truth and sincerity. Until the next episode, Shalom.